Good evening, folks, and welcome to the UJL cast of Team World Class Orange versus CYK Purple. I am your play-by-play, -play, Mikey, and this is our color caster, XT. We got a good matchup coming up for you guys, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there's a slight delay on the draft, however. We're just waiting on their support to get all set. Uh, he's finishing a driver update, uh, so it'll just be a couple minutes. Uh, in the meantime, let's get acquainted with our casters. XT, how you doing tonight? Hey, doing pretty good, Mikey. Happy to be here. Uh, always fun to be here at the Upsurge Junior League, being able to highlight some of our upcoming talents heading into our second week of playoffs here. Team World Class Orange taking on Cyber Eat Kings. It's kind of a David versus Goliath matchup here, especially if Team World Class coming out of a very impressive record so far. I think they've only dropped one game and they've won like about 15 straight games. That is correct. Since the early season, yeah. The best win-loss in the entire league, um, and they are looking to extend that streak uh, here against CYK. Also, CYK uh, is on a little bit of a hot streak themselves. Last week's game uh, looking pretty good for them, and uh, they got a couple of players to watch as well. You got uh, Living Long in the mid lane. They like to play around him. Um, he's, he's going to be a big factor in these games, depending on whether they put him on a carry or utility. Uh, but it looks like we're moving straight into the draft here. Yeah, some straight bans coming out here. World Class Orange actually banning out the ADC pool for Jeevas. And that does open up Living Long's uh, champ pool here. But we will have to see on how that breaks down while over on the other side. Oh, there's J4 ban coming out for World Class Orange being denied for both teams. Maybe we that, see a Leona first pick. That Again, that's going to be something that's really contested. We, we were just talking earlier about the J4 and whether right. or not that was going to be a prio pick for blue side each game. Uh, and it just looks like they're going to take it away from both sides. So we'll see if the Leona is... That's the other contested pick that we had here. Right. So uh, we'll see if that's uh, that's going to be picked up for, for uh, World nope. Class Orange. There's the Leona band out. All right. Yeah, so, and, yeah, there goes both the contested picks and Def Oli gets to Misfortune. There's the power, the power bottom, if you will, for <laughs> <laughs> Misfortune. Uh, they're going to look to pick up the Orn. Um, that's a hover so far. Uh, Braum is still on the board for World Class Orange. If they want to answer to that Orn, it's a good response. Right. You know, you can block the ultimate with the uh, with the wall. So um, could be something to to look at. Uh, we'll see if they actually want to lock in Orn and Braum together. Here uh, could also be pretty good against that misfortune. You can have right. the the projectile blocker kind of in the way. Um, yeah. And while we're waiting for uh, CYK to lock in, they also don't have to pick their ADC here because since, you know, World Class Orange already revealed it, they can save it for the last pick. Zack is to hover. I don't Ooh. really agree with the Zack this early, okay. but Zack minded the jungle. He's going to get locked in for CYK. And... I like the confidence. You can see right, right away they're showing their cards. They're like, okay, here's what we're doing. We're going to be a team sure. fight heavy comp. We're coming right at you. What do you have to answer us? They have the MF on the board on the other side. It looks like this is setting up to be something big, a huge team fight composition on both sides. I'm pretty excited so far. Right. Mordecai's are going to be hovered here. World Class Orange going to be locking in. Someone to deal with the Orm, but like you were talking about earlier, I would also like to see the Braum here for World Class Orange. You got the Orm, you got the Zac, two really heavy forms of engage. And having the Braum on World Class Orange would be really beneficial to kind of have a form of counter engage and a exactly. way to make sure this uh, Misfortune gets some peel. And even then, it, a Braum ultimate, you know, that Glacial Fissure is a very useful tool for disengage as well. Uh, when you're trying to just get people off of right. you and, and just throw it out mm. there, but they're gonna lock in the Nautilus instead Yeah, um, so no tools so far to deal with the Orn apart from that Mordekaiser All Right, and they're they were probably looking at maybe someone uh, maybe someone from CYK Picking the Senna or the Aphelios as they are both up with the Nautilus But instead the target gets picked up here by CYK They have a huge team fighting composition here and maybe we could see something like, you know Maybe this Mordekaiser going mid WCO pick a split pusher. There's still a lot of opportunities for Orange right. here to kind of answer to the team fighting start with CYK. We really have to see on what's going to get here. I would expect more jungle bands over the side of CYK, making sure the Zac is safe. Wolf's still off the open. I think that could be something WCO wants, but yeah. maybe I would expect maybe to send him, or not to send him, but probably to if he was banned here. Or Revolution. Hmm. They want them so to pick I, a... I, yeah. I want to see, and this is just me personally, but I do want to see them lock in Kalista here. Kalista mm -hmm. Tarek 
has been something that has been incredibly prevalent in right. in in pretty much everything that I've watched recently and everything that I've casted recently. Right, right, right. So if that's a thing that happens here, oh, I could be wrong. There it is. Okay, the virus. Hey. Team fight so, still. It's we're not really too sure what the role of this virus yet. Remember, he has a lot of flex. He could go lethality or he could go on hit. It's probably going to be an on hit virus here. He has a lot of good front line here to help peel him off. And the best thing is that CYK, they have the opportunity for the red side counter pick. Now, WCO, they're looking at maybe like a jungler to help offset the early game, but they also have to pick that blind mid laner here uh, for Chris Meister. And Victor is going to be the hover here. He does have a lot of counter matchups, so he is going to get locked in. That's actually not terrible for what they're showing so far. Yeah. Uh, Victor is something that can just kind of sit in mid lane and almost have permanent prio once you get that upgrade on the E. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's really not a terrible pick here. Uh, I would have liked to see something more on the side of like an Orianna or a safer control mage, mm -hmm. but there's the Olaf yeah. that you were talking about. Yeah, Olaf is going to help have a lot of early game pressure, is going to be able to answer to Zach most of the time, also have a fast clear. But CYK, they know the match for the Victor. They're probably going to pick something scaling to kind of answer uh, Azir! CWCO, and Azir's going to be an answer here. Uh, and CYK Purple right now, they have a really strong team fighting composition here. And WCO, they have a lot of strong laners like the Mordekaiser and Misfortune, yep. but if they mess up one time in the early game, they could be in a lot of trouble. So here's here's the main thing that I think Zach's going to run into this game. And, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but when you have a Victor against an Azir, mm -hmm. Victor has permanent prio. When yeah. you have an Orn against a Mordekaiser, Mordekaiser has permanent prio. Mm -hmm. When you have a Varus against a Misfortune, Misfortune has permanent prio. Mm -hmm. So if Zach ever wants to look for something proactive, it's going to be incredibly difficult for him to get rotations from his laners because they're going to be shoved in. Right. And it's really going to be on AM Trick, who has been playing pretty phenomenally uh, so far in the UJL, especially in the playoffs. But this is going to be his first different pick here uh, for the playoffs. He would play two games of Jarvan last game. Now this is going to be his Olaf game. And I have full confidence that Trick should be able to track the Zac relatively well. You have to wonder for Kalo, did he show his cards too early by locking in the Zac? And we will have to see on how that affects CYK Purple. Since the early game is going to be looking a little bit shaken up. But once again, you know, one mistake from WCO could cost him a lot. As it's really going to be hard to play from behind if you are if you are against someone like uh, CYK's composition. With how many ways they can start a fight. How many ways they can pick you off. And how many ways they can be proactive on the map. But you, you are right, Mikey. Starting things off, they do have kind of, you know an interesting laning phase to go up against <laughs> yeah and it's it's again it's something that you don't want to see when you're zach when you lock in something like zach you want lanes that have prio because you are not safe to duel anybody ever when right. they lock in something like olaf on the other side that zach is in danger for the entirety of this early game mm -hmm. olaf can invade him at any point and they can never ever duel each other Olaf will always win that matchup. Yeah. And it all just comes down to how Trick wants to path his early game. And, you know, I'm expecting maybe a... <laughs> there, there is actually a scenario where I'm pretty sure WCO may get, like, double scuttle or something. It's going to be really yeah. hard for Zach to do like, get any, anything done on the map. But what I'm really looking at here, though, is... Uh, Living Long and Jeebus here for CYK. They've both been playing extremely well. They popped off their first playoff match uh, last week when they took on Barry Yu. And now they're looking to see if they can carry that momentum because I'm expecting this to be probably an on his bars. This is going to be um, a great backline to help out uh, with this amazing frontline to help them out. And WCL, they do have the Nautilus to potentially disrupt. But if CYK can play front to back here and they can find a way to, well, not get stomped in the early game, I, I think CYK has... Yeah, I definitely agree. But it looks like we're going to have to end up finding that out when we find it out. Uh, I do have some announcements to make, however. Um, for those of you watching in chat, um, we're going to cut to some slides here. Uh, the Upsurge summer season is going to be starting soon. Uh, the League of Legends applications are now open uh, for the UPL, which is the Premier League Grandmasters Plus. It's going to be Tuesdays at 8. 
Uh, the Contenders League, which is 32 teams, Diamond 2 to Masters, uh, that's going to be on Thursdays at 8 o'clock. Uh, we also have the UML, that's the Minor League, which is 32 teams, Fridays at 8. Uh, and the Junior League, which is what we're casting currently, which is Platinum 4 to Platinum 1, uh, Mondays at 8 Eastern. Um, and then there's also some exciting stuff to add as well. We have the Rocket League. Starting up, uh, do I have that slide here? I don't know if I have that slide. Uh, <laughs> we have the Rocket League starting up, uh, as well as the Dota 2 League starting up. Uh, so those are going to be pretty exciting as well. Uh, so just stay posted for those. Uh, we are going to cut to an ad break, and uh, we hope to see you guys on the other side. It's going to be an exciting mashup. Thanks. Started with a vision. A vision of quality, a vision of uniformity. We took the time to create something familiar yet refreshing, something with a bit of change. Designed to fit any brand's unique vision.
and welcome back to our UJL matchup between the Cyber Kings Esports Purple and Team World Class Orange. Looks like we are getting right underway here. We got a stack in this top bush. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I don't they're not five pointing. It looks like yeah, they're, they're, they're expecting a little bit of early game ward. Here it comes, oh, and there's this. the knockup from Gak, and they're looking yep. for Freshburger. There's a couple Ooh, of flashes, flashes getting burned. Three flashes on one side, the other side, no flashes whatsoever. Mid and top with no flashes with a Zach jungle looking pretty good for CYK. Yeah, that's going to be really, really good for them. They don't have to worry about potentially getting solo killed in the early game here, and that takes away a lot of the safety here for them. Uh, the Mordekaiser and the Victor off. He's okay with losing his flashes here and there, but Chris Meister definitely going to be the person we have to look out for if Kalo is going to be looking to path to punish him potentially, but there's going to be a ward revealing his uh, starting camp. Absolutely. And that's another thing. Uh, he, you push for vision there, and it, they actually didn't throw a ward down at all. So they right. actually burned the flashes for literally no reason. Um, so it's it's looking uh, pretty pretty meh on that point. But Yeah, uh, when you got four people just stacking on the red side, it's just, you know... <laughs> I'm sure there would be a lot of panic in that situation. and Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for yeah. sure. Royal Class Orange definitely probably didn't expect that. But There's the hook, hook onto D Sniper. Jeebus putting out some poke as well. The Guardian going to be proc. And that is a one trade for Jeebus and D Sniper. Yeah. A little bit early from FS, but maybe he was just looking to catch him off by surprise. Uh, but Sniper did start with his stun in the early game because of the five stack. So... No, pretty interesting move there, but so far in the bot lane. Oh, level two engage. There's the hook coming out again, and there's the slow. The ignite going to be dropped on a sniper as well. Death will be getting pretty low from Jeebus here. The yep. flash out from sniper, he's going to be taken down. Oh, the flash, flash forward by Jeebus, the heal dropped as well for Death Holy. Oh, no sums on Jeebus, gets hooked, gets rooted. Here comes Death Holy, the Q, and it's going to land, and that is going to be two kills going over to this bot lane. It really makes sense now why FS went for the early hook to start things off. They wanted to go for that level two um, power spike as soon as they could. And there is a reason why FS and definitely are talented to be one of the best bot lanes right now in the UJL. And you just saw it right there. They want a 2v2 straight up and they get the first blood. Yeah, and uh, another interesting oh, thing to no. note is, yep, the Olaf invading yeah. onto Kalo here. Kalo is getting dangerously low. Living Long does not in? have the prio. He's going back in with the Aftershock. Uh, maybe just trying to scare him off here. Knowing that Living Long is not coming. But Gak and Freshburger also in that topside jungle. Um, it looks like they're not going to go for anything here. The Olaf is going to rotate back towards that topside. And Kalo can freely take these Raptors and regain some HP. Yeah. Damn Trick still trying to push Gak off of this top tower. Yeah, this is going to be really, really good for Trick right now. Just making sure Orn loses as much experience as possible. Kalo now going to be put even further behind. And you know what this means? We're probably looking at a double skull to a Trick uh, take here from Trick. Knowing that his red buff is still up onto Kalo. And there's nothing Kalo can really do about that to contest any of the scuttles. Maybe. Unless he concedes this. He's playing really scared in the red side right now if you see it. Yeah, I do. I, I see him kind He's of backing up. There's the ward. He's backing up. He doesn't want to take it. Give and take here and <laughs> oh my <laughs> god that's yeah if you're looking at the mini map right now this zach is extremely scared to take his red buff here he's gonna start AM it now trick but... hovering yeah. mid trying to steal some xp i guess no but he's just gonna walk down he's just gonna get that double scuttle start and kayla's gonna be put even more behind while in the bot side some shots still being taken here and there but no summers for Jeebus means that he does have to give up a lot of pressure on this lane so far Trading going on top lane. Oh, he does not he get the knockup. Freshburger going to hit that. And here comes Gak. They he are actually going to gonna fight this back and forth. Gak is not going to survive this. He is going to drop the Freshburger, and that is going to be a solo kill for the Mordekaiser. There is a reason why Mordekaiser was touted to be the uh, Orn counter at the start of Season 10, and we just saw why. It's just really hard, especially if the Orn misses the knockup, too, uh, for him to really do anything if, you know, the Mordekaiser has any sort of advantage against him. He's just going to do a lot of magic damage. Orn yeah. wasn't really ready to take that trait. Conqueror was there. 
to assist this auto attacks and he's just gonna take it down and look at how much pressure fs has so far in this bot lane like jeebus and sniper they can't farm this at all and here comes trick there goes the hook and There's here no comes stops. here comes everybody there's a double stun the root going on a sniper they're trying to get sniper taken down the ignite maybe going oh, to that's the flash so forward pretty. from f S, he's going to drop the Jeebus is oh my gosh Jeebus is down to about 10 hp under oh, that dear. tower he is going to survive however and de sniper going to drop again this is now a shutdown worthy <laughs> nautilus in the bot lane right now yeah. there comes gak engaging on the fresh burger once again trying to look for something trying to get yeah. some ground back in that top lane but again an even trade and that's a win yeah. for Freshburger sitting on his teleport right now. AM Trick, however, getting dangerously low at this dragon. So uh, they are going to get it. That was a little we risky. <laughs> we, we talked a little bit about it during the champ select, but we already are seeing the. Oh, there's a stun from DE Sniper, but nobody is with him. Uh, I think Trick is dead here. Trick? Yeah, Trick is just dead. There's Trick a knight. I don't think that was necessary. Is well, it going it to be enough though? Oh, it's Steve gonna be one for one trade. Fall here. That's the one for one. For one? And there's the two. Oh no! FS is going to survive the stun dropping on a Kalo. Oh, the community to fight! Double TP is coming in. Freshburger by himself That's going to ult on a Jeebus. Jeebus is going to get it. However, in the meantime, we got Orin ulting in. There's the Azir ulti on the. Oh my god! The Azir on the Nautilus. And Nautilus is going to fall. So there kills going all over the map right now. It's TP. really interesting to. See why CYK tries to go to her fight when they have no early game advantage whatsoever. They don't have anyone on their team that does a lot of damage just yet. They were already really behind. I thought they were just going to take a one for one trade, but they really wanted to commit that after they saw the opportunity to get Trick and the rest of the team converging on. That teleport was a little bit early from Gak there, and you saw the teleport for Freshburger, the perfect angle to take a level three Jeebus out of the fight completely. All in all, this hurts Jeebus the most because he's just oh, yeah. trying to get back to the lane, trying to farm after he's been shoved off by many, many waves down there. And once again, he comes back in the lane with absolutely no items whatsoever. Yep, and, and that sets Jeebus even further behind. And that's one of the things that you have to look at when you're, when you're going through draft. Like, okay, where are we going to have Pryo? And they don't have Pryo anywhere. And yeah. you can see as this game is progressing, Olaf is just running rampant and they have nothing to answer it. Yeah. You know, you got to look at the draft for World Class Orange and he picked basically extremely strong laners. Someone who's going to dictate a lot of early game pressure and they are more than happy to continue getting these early game scrims. You know, Olaf does a lot of high base damage in the early game. Not only that, Miss Fortune right now, who is extremely strong along this Nautilus who had a bounty earlier, are just happy to take any fights as they they're extremely extremely strong compared to this bot lane who needs time to scale up and no ultimate on Tarek. it's just really baffling to see cyk try to go for a lot of these fights but we're ultimately seeing why world-class orange is one of those teams to be feared because they know how to play around their win condition they know how to so, play around the compositions going back to what you were saying i can kind yeah. of empathize empathize with cyk and their position because right. they're, tr they're trying their best to kind of claw their way back into this because they know once they hit that late game, they do have these scaling carries. They do right. have this kind of security. Oh. So if they, there's the, the stun lane. onto FS. Here comes Kalo. The ultimate going to be dropped from the MF. Uh, the TP on the backside. Chris Meister is going to drop the ult. Jeebus is going to fall. And so is Sniper. And that's a double kill going over to this misfortune. Yeah. Oh play there from CYK, they really need to get Jeebus an opportunity to, uh, to allow him to get any farming whatsoever. They try to make a, I guess, a optimistic play over in the bot side here. They thought they were able to catch someone off guard, but a level 76 over compared to level 4 and 5, and they're going to get first tower off it. Def Oli and FS Boom. are just going to be here to take over this game so far. Yeah, and we were, we were just talking like, okay, <laughs> Living Long wants to play through, you know, they oh, want to play no. through their mid laner. They want to play, you know, uh, against kind of what the other team is trying to do, where they're trying to play through bot side. And it just hasn't really played out that way. They yeah. haven't really helped Living Long get to a point where he can do really anything. Yeah. Um, and their bot lane is just getting steamrolled. 
Yeah, and the worst part is Kalo just got double buffed by Team World Class Orange. You know, Freshberg took his red, you know, Off just took his blue, and basically his whole entire bot side. There's nothing for Kalo to do right now on the map. He's, ex you know, he's going to be working from a deficit for quite some time. He's never going to get an opportunity to get a scuttle for his team. He's going to have yeah. very, very little pressure on the map. He's going to be very, very squishy on this Zach. And that's the problem with the Zach pick early. You know, we, we talked about it in Champ Select. We mm -hmm. talked about it throughout the early game of this game. You know, when you lock in something like that, you have to have laners that are able to answer roams. And it's just, it's not happening. It's, you can yeah. see the weakness of Zach right in front of your eyes, right here. Yeah. Infernal Drake is going to get spawned here. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a free objective here for uh, Team Cross Orange. They're going to get a lane swap actually to the mid lane. You generally see the top and bottom lane switch here. But because there's no agency in Living Long's lane, and Freshburger wants to continue this matchup here in this uh, top side against the Orn, we're going to be seeing a mid laner being sent bot lane instead. Dragon's going to get started up. There's nothing CYK can do. They have no power right now. Yeah. Uh, they have to scale up. And that's now two of the early game drags, which in in reality is not that bad to give up. Obviously, the as the dragons go on, the two first elemental dragons are going to be the most quote unquote useless of the bunch. Right. Um, but but the main problem is it's not the dragon that was the problem. It's the fact that they continue to get bot side control, and there's absolutely nothing to do in the top side here for Kalo. He's just going to get set further and further behind. All he can do is really just desperate plays to try to find an opportunity to hopefully take a cap. While Freshburg is more than happy to continue getting these trades. He's just onto wailing on him. Yeah. Oh, it's just Meister is going to get this turret. Unlucky. And... Ooh. Ooh. Living Long is trying his damnedest. Oh, I'll tell you no, that. He is trying so hard. Okay, right now, Chris just getting shoved away out here. from his wolves. Uh, Chris Meister, there's the stun on the Living Long. Here uh, comes the trick. Living oh, Long going dead. to get out with his Rima Shuffle. Is it going to be enough, though? No, it is not. That was a 2v4 that CYK wasn't really fully able to commit to there, though. And they lose the tower for it, probably. And yeah, all that started because Kalo, Kalo really wanted to get his any of his bot camps if he could get any little bit source of farm whatsoever. But fortunately, you know, there's the knock up from Gak. Is it? Are they gonna go for this? No, they're not. This is just this is just trade kingdom yeah. top lane right now. Yeah, right now this is all Team World Class Orange's game to play here. They have the whole entire map controlled under their belt here. They're probably going to be lucky to start rotating towards the top side now. Maybe play towards uh, spawning Rift Herald. That should come out in about two minutes, I believe. And now Kalo's going to have the opportunity to farm his bot side camps. But unfortunately, a little bit too late. Yeah, you know, you never want to say too little too late um, in a game where that's only 13 minutes in. Uh, but when you're on Zac and you're set this far behind... now. We're saying far behind. We're we're talking, we're talking only a matter of four hundred gold, right? Right. I mean, th that's that's really the, the disparity between the two junglers. But when we when we say so far behind, we mean as far as map control is concerned. Exactly. Uh, when you look at these two junglers and compare, uh, say something like vision score. Uh, vision score for a jungler is a big teller on whether or not they're controlling one side of the map well. Uh, and you compare these two, you have 7 to 16. That tells the whole story of how this early game is going. Yeah, and right now we see the top side being fully controlled by Chis Chris Meister and Trick. They want to set up for this top side turret and Rift Road that's going to be spawning soon. They're sending the Mordekaiser over towards the bot side. He has a teleport. Some basic, basic map one, map control 101 here for Team or Class Orange. They're just working with their lead, and, you know, it looks like CYK are a little bit late to the party, but they're going here for Here comes the Orn ulti. Oh, they it missed, hits, but doesn't matter. It hits Trick only, but there's the Nautilus. He's going to fall. He gets mm. the four-man knockup for style points, but he's mm. going to drop. Orn ult going to be down, though, for this top site. That's probably going to be the tower being taken here by the Misfortune. And a split push is going to start up over in the bot side. 
So this Orn may have to back a little bit soon. But it's really good that CYK was able to get a pick there. A little bit of a greedy positioning here for FS when Vision Control has already been establishing the top side. Not sure why he wanted to go back in there. Maybe he wanted to see if anyone's under the tower here uh, in the top side. But nonetheless, they are going to start the Rift Herald. And I don't think anyone from CYK is going to be able to get to it. Yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult for them to actually access this. Uh, so it should be free for them to take it. There it goes. Yep. Uh, it's just a matter of where they're going to want to drop this. They have the Mordekaiser shifted over down the bot lane. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to see if they try to send the Orn to match that or if they're going to rotate this this Mordekaiser towards mid side. Um, it's all a matter of what what Worldcrest Orange wants to do. Oh, um, Mikey, it's happening again. Is he getting double buffed again? He's probably going to get double buffed. Well, <laughs> I think he was... Okay, he got, he his, got red. his red. He did it. He loses the blue buff, and that goes over to Victor, I think. Oh, no, it goes over to Mordekaiser, and Chris Meister is holding on to the blue buff on his team. Feels bad if you're a Zier. <laughs> yeah. No mana for him. Um, but either way... don't get the gifts of mana. <laughs> going back to your point here, Mikey, we are seeing right now a struggling CYK. I don't really think they know who to send to match anyone on the map, though, but Dragon is going to get spawned here. No one from CYK is going to be able to contest, and no one's going to go into the top side just yet to get that farm it's probably going to be azir uh since i think he's going to be it's levy log is probably going to be looked at as the potentially to carry for this game as jeebus is whew, you gotta feel far him. out of it so far yeah he is and uh 3.3k behind yeah he's uh, where he has only feet. allocated 4.3k right 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 yeah if you're virus right now you're you're not having a great game nor if you are sniper who has just been always the first one to die for his team because he has no way of getting out as soon as he's, you know, caught by someone from World Class Orange. But they're going to be looking at this mid lane right now. Uh, Rift Herald is available. They could drop it here. They probably will. Maybe. Fresh Burger and Gak going at it as always. And there it is. They are going to drop the Rift Herald. We'll see if they drop this before the charge. This could be pretty important. There it is. And uh, they're going to get another charge. Or they're not. Oh no! Good at the whole play. There's, There's the shuffle. the shuffle, and here comes the team fight. The Ornolds are going to fall. There's a shutdown going over to Jeebus. Jeebus trying to look for more. FS going to get sucked back in by the Zach Q. Zach still trying to find more. He goes, tries to find FS. FS trying to run away. Jeebus yeah. will try and catch him. There's the stun, not um... going to hit. Jeebus flashing and healing forward, not going to find the kill. Yeah. And really, really good job here by Livyong being able to get that Azir turret, not letting the Rift Turtle get any charges whatsoever. And, you know, Team World Class Orange, they just get a little bit punished for the mid lane push. They're not able to get that inhibitor turret, unfortunately, but they are able to get a lot of damage onto the bot lane inhibitor turret. But it doesn't matter. World Class Orange are still controlling the map and playing super aggressive, even though they just lost their ADC. Oh, Gak gets a knockup on the Freshburger. Freshburger is under tower, but he's Mordekaiser, so he's just going to walk away. Yeah. And, wow, you know, Team World Class Orange, you think they go for a reset right now. You know, both the Victor and Mordekaiser have a lot of gold under their pocket, even the Nautilus, but... Okay, there they are. Thank goodness. Stop <laughs> pushing. Give him a little bit of air to breathe here, I see. Yeah. Give me some air to breathe. Yeah, Mikey. <laughs> this has been a very action-packed game. The kills may not tell a lot of a story, but the past 18 minutes have just been pack-to-back, action-to-action-to-action. And UGL, always fun to see these players trying to see who can outplay the other, always being aggressive and not letting anyone have an opportunity to think about what is the next right play. It's all on the fly. Kind of. I I'm enjoying the memes that are happening in chat, by the way. <laughs> uh, shout out to Evadize or Evadize, however you say that. Definitely good memes that you're spitting out over there. Yeah, even Solid. though right now, you know, we might have the Hunch Thieves playing on our main channel here. It's always fun to see the rest of the Upsurge community here being able to support our players in the UJL. And so far, this game has not failed to deliver. We're seeing why Team World Class Orange are the team to beat here in the UJL. And CYK, you know, even though on paper they've been playing for behind the whole game they they were able to catch team world class orange by surprise a little bit once again living along with that very very smart play by him yeah absolutely baron is, baron is spawning are they going to try and take it on spawn 
That is the question. They could they probably do it, honestly. Do so. They have Pryo in their side lanes. They have mid Pryo. They're posturing around it. They have the vision set up. Are they going to go for it, though? That's the question. Good trade Fresh right now. and Gax still trading with each other. Yeah, they're going to go for it. And they are going to go for it. So here we go. This could be the game-defining moment for Kalo. Does Kalo get the redemption? Does Kalo get the steal? That is what is going to tell the story of this game. Well, they don't even have to take this Baron. They still just need to make sure this bot lane tower is being. Um, oh, Freshburger getting, getting taken oh. dangerously low, fighting Gag. We get turned around. The ultimate going to drop. He's turning it right back around with Conquer, and he's going to drop yeah. him. That's all they need right now. They need to make sure this Mordekaiser is continuing to put out pressure really smart have here. They have to yeah, back. by Team One Class Orange. Trick they and back FS. Out the Baron. Clearing out vision. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and they Azir, have to send Azir. Azir has to back. Yeah, and this bear is probably going to be gone here, but we have to see if the steel comes in. I the don't think it's going to happen. dangerously low. Are they able to do anything here? There's the Chrismizer Olsi trying oh, to get... Oh, we're coming out by the Mordekaiser. Way early, Kalo. Oh! But Living Long stops Living the teleport, Long but I Freshburger. think he's going to... The Emperor's Divide isn't going to be enough. No, it's not. Freshburger going to get another solo kill. Kalo oh, my take gosh. Him low. There's the bullet time. Bullet time going to be able to drop him as well. Kalo going to fall, and that... <laughs> Is oh my goodness! And they they're not even take gonna the for the go for the dragon soul. It's up. It's gonna be up. And there's the surrender vote gonna be coming in for CYK. Really well played there by Team World Class Orange. But we are gonna be heading to a second game here, Mikey. And overall, what a very exciting series or game to start off the series so far. But let's see if CYK bring it back. Yeah, and it's gonna be very telling to see what they want to do with this jungle pick and what they want to do with uh, with lane priority uh, to see if they want to you know play to the bot side, play to the top side. Because really, when you locked in Orn and Zach, uh, your identity as a team was to team fight. But when you have no lane priority, uh, your your identity in the early game is non-existent. You're just basically getting steamrolled by right. these early game picks. So, so we'll see if they adapt. We'll see what happens in the next draft. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that's uh, yeah. that's the game one for you. Yeah, definitely. Some could argue that the game was kind of lost to draft once again. I really hope we don't see that Zach early pick again. I think the start of the game was fine, though, mainly because, you know, it's to Orn. If you've revealed the Orn of the virus, I think that would be a really safe start there and would have been a little bit harder for a team more class orange just draft around that but it's like once you play your cards too early mikey it's just like you know what do you do there you know you are immediately tell the world what your game plan is and even though there was a little bit of early game cheese coming out here by uh cyk it wasn't really enough to stop them from snowballing at all especially in that bot lane which was completely dominated here uh, by the nautilus virus or sorry the nautilus and um i i'm i swear i okay the nautilus misfortune and shout out to really, uh, FS, they're really playing that knowledge very, very well. Gain that early level two power spike to get an early double kill and set up that bot lane for success there uh, for World Class Orange. Really well done. Yep, and uh, with that, we are going to cut to a little bit of a break here. We will be back with game two of this series. Don't go anywhere.
everyone, and welcome back to the Upsurge Junior League. My name is XT. I'm joined here with Mikey today, and oh boy, that game number one was something we're already going to be starting off the draft for game number two here. And Mikey, there's the Mordekaiser. Here he goes. <laughs> yeah, uh, right out the gate, you know, Freshburger popped off that last game. Right. Bunch of solo kills, just running it down a certain lane. Uh, I, I've no, I'm not surprised at all. I, I would expect the set ban as well from them. Yeah, definitely. But this already kind of tells you that CYK want to try to go for the Ornn again. Uh, they do have first pick priority here, but they're just banning away the issues that they faced last game. You know, we are seeing the Misfortune band away, and they're deviating from the bans they had last game, where they actually focused, you know, down the support pool uh, and some of the top lane pool here. But yeah, will we see a Leona ban here? I, I don't know. I don't are, think so. They, they are going to be forced to ban Jarvan or Leona. Yeah. Or they're going to ban Set. Okay, so okay, J4 so... and Leona both up. Uh, mm -hmm. These are quote-unquote power picks for both of these two teams. Uh, so each one will get one of those power picks. They're going to lock in the J4. Yeah, and that means Leona here for WCO. But they could go for something like the Leona um, Aphelios lane. We will have to see. Uh, but CYK, they get their hands on the Jarvan. And that is a lot better of a start of a draft compared to last game when you show off the Zac early. Jarvan isn't really going to reveal too much, but Ezreal going to get locked in. We could be looking at Ezreal and Yubi. They could, they're more than happy to play against the Leona. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, that Ezreal Leona is probably about as safe as you can get uh, yeah. down on the bot lane. You can never touch that Ezreal. All that movement speed, all the healing, you know, jumping in and out. It's it's really difficult for them to get on. They're going to mm. lock in the Tarek again. Yeah. This time, they're going to steal the Tariq away from CLK Purple. Aatrox is going to get locked in the top side. Doesn't give away anything. Uh, but I could maybe see WCO opting to pick something like the Renek. You know to pull better than Yubi. me. But you'll be blind. Oh. Okay, um, okay, 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 okay. Take it away, Mikey. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so Aatrox Yumi is nuts. I don't know if you've seen it before, uh -huh. but it's nuts. Okay? Aatrox Yumi is a real lane. That could be going bot lane interesting yeah I, I, i'm serious I, I you guys can call me crazy but that could be going badly I mean, correct me if i'm wrong didn't g2 play a while ago um in their last game of the regular season i think caps pulled it off the atrox spot with the yumi i think he did i think he did i don't 100 percent remember but i think right now world class orange are drafting around this atrox going top but we will have to see i i, I think you're on to something here <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. They're they're banning eighty carries. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be just like, okay, we just bamboozled you guys. Yeah, and, and we're actually going Aatrox Yumi bot lane. Yeah, so we will have to see if CYK do it. But right now, WCO they are just probably going to be looking to pinch down the ADC pool here. Uh, they're under the impression so far. Uh, but what I do expect here for CYK, they do now get like, a counter pick against Gangplank if they choose to do the Aatrox Yumi bot lane that you're talking about. But we'll have to see. It's only a matter of time. Right. The problem I have with Gangplank is, uh, well, with countering Gangplank, I should say, is right. Gangplank doesn't really get countered by anything. Right. Uh, you can just sit back and just scale as Gangplank and really not fight or do anything in the lane whatsoever. Yeah, just it's be not a non interactive character until level 13. Mm -hmm. So I'm, what I'm really interested to see is why CYK open. Uh, purple are not opting to ban out the jungle pool here. They, they're they going ahead and banning out the mid lane pool instead. Uh, they think it's going to be, you know, they think um, Chris Meister is going to be the bigger threat here, but you saw how Trick Kindred? played last game. Very, very nice. Oh, Kindred going to get locked in. Interesting. Kindred. There's a Kindred Tarek? <laughs> they're all good. Right, you just see Zillion now. You just die. see Zillion, it's over. <laughs> they're never going to die. <laughs> Are they? Wait, 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 wait. That's uh -huh. big brain. If they lock in Kale here, Kale or Zillion? Think about Kale here. <laughs> I don't think they'll pick the Kale, unfortunately. But I don't it think could happen. Pick, I, mean. I don't. I, I think they're gonna pick some sort of carry with Pryo mid. I would hope. Probably. I would hope they do that. Azir oh. is open. Sintra is gonna get locked Caitlyn. in. It's not okay. gonna be. It's not gonna be the Aatrox Yumi bot lane, unfortunately. Unlucky. Sorry, Mikey, but I was ready. 
You are so ready for that. I'm so Yumi ready. Answer here. I don't know if the Caitlyn Yumi is going to be the right call, but we will have to see. Final pick here. Azir is up. Um, Oriana is up. Zoe is up with Longstop. A lot of opportunity options here for Chris. He doesn't get... Or to Vic, he could go ahead and play to Victor if he wants. No Karma? way. Man, that's no all the eggs. Wait, is this a funnel? This might be a funnel. <laughs> I don't know. We will have to see. We will see when we get into chaps like the right out. There's a lot of question marks in this draft, but <laughs> we both got trolled. That's the that's the overall lesson here, Mikey. We've been swindled, hoodwinked, bamboozled, yeah. led astray, and flat out deceived. I swear, if this is a Tarek mid with Kindred funnel, with uh, Ezra Karma. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> very, very fun draft here. There's a lot of question marks here, but honestly, I'm probably thinking we're probably just going to see something standard. Ezra Tarek in the bot lane, Karma in the mid lane, Inkling, Aatrox in the top side, Kindred uh, on the apes, or on the jungle. But overall, um, I'm liking this draft here from CYK. It doesn't really give away too much safer of a draft here uh and they do have you know atrix syndra in the top side a lot i think opportunity for pro here what do you think mikey yeah it's this draft is really interesting because there's no like there's no picks that just jump out at me um th that i'm like okay this is weak or, or this is strong um mm -hmm. but that being said if they're able to get this cryo mid, that, it's going to be so hard because Syndra is one of those champions that can just perma shove. Right. And if you have a Karma into that trying to get cryo for Kindred, mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to be using Mantra to clear the wave. You're yeah. going to use Mantra Q to clear the wave. So when you get to the Kindred, you're just going to have basic abilities. Right. I, it's it's really strange because like if karma gets ahead it's gonna be really tough for the enemy team yeah like, we have a really lot hard. of we have a lot of odd question marks here we won't know for sure what the matches are though in the bot side until we have everyone locked in and i think like 20 seconds left uh, on the clock um uh, so because it still can be theoretically Tarek final for the kindred karma and the support here we go that would be a completely different story here, here uh, it is they probably lock in Karma here before they like swap. Because they still can't swap, I believe. But we'll have what's, to see. What's but, the time limit on the swap? I think it's when it's 20 seconds left, but don't quote me. I'm not that familiar or well versed with the rule book. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in up, so <laughs> uh, But either way, let's talk about the bot lane now, Mikey. And that's something I'm really interested in because of how poorly Jeebus and Sniper were able to play that. But this time it's the Caitlyn. Yumi for them, and right. Ezreal, and potentially Tariq for World Class Orange. How do you envision that going? Well, it's all a matter of how safe Caitlyn wants to play it. Right. Uh, because it's one of those lanes where if you get caught out and you get stunned, like, especially levels 1, 2, uh, Ezreal, like, a lot of people think Ezreal's weak early. Ezreal right. is the strongest AD carry at levels 1 and 2 in the entire game. Apart from maybe Draven. Um, so if, if he catches a stun in that window, mm -hmm. right, it's going to be really, really hard for Kate to do anything about it because mm -hmm. once Kate gets stunned out, I mean, she's not, apart from net, she has no escape. And if she gets, right. she nets and gets stunned, I mean, she's just done for it. All right. Um, so it's crazy. It's crazy. Right now I'm holding my breath, Mikey. I'm sure you're holding your breath too. We're gonna wait and see if there's oh any swaps God. going. It's not gonna happen though. I don't think it's happening. There's no it's way. It's probably there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, there's it'd no be way. really funny to see because no this way. is game two. World class orange do have an opportunity to like you know catch us by surprise, pick something out of the blue. But it looks like they're just gonna stick with their picks here. Yeah, it's gonna be a karma mid target bot. So now you were talking about you know Sindri being able to shove this karma. Karma not gonna be able to use that mantra. Gonna have to use that for wave clear. I envision this going into favor here for CYK. They have a lot more opportunities uh, to work around in the early game now. And it looks like this time, I'm looking at a comp here from World Class Orange, and they're more in the backseat this time. They're not really looking to get any a ton of priority in lane. They're most likely going to be looking to play towards the mid game. This comp is so Kindred-reliant. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is like 
we're playing through our jungler. That right. is that is the identity of this comp. If they fail to do so, it's going to be a really hard game for them. Oh yeah. Uh, because it's 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 laid out plainly, right? Mm. You have you have global pressure with gangplank ulti. Mm. You have Karma who's able to shield and provide utility for Kindred to carry. Mm -hmm. And then once you get into that point where it's late game, mm -hmm. you have Tarek ulti that you can drop at the beginning of a fight. You have Kindred ulti that you can drop in the middle of a fight. I mean, literally, they have built this comp so that Kindred will never die. And while they're trying to focus this Kindred out, Ezreal's going to be dealing ridiculous amounts of damage because of how Ezreal scales. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to be really difficult for CYK to, to to contend if they don't shut down Kindred. Yeah, definitely. But I do have full confidence that Trick may be able to pull this out here. He played off extremely well last game, but this game, it's a completely different story here, Mikey. I don't think CYK are going down without a fight. We will have to see, but before we take a look, we'll give out a shout out to one of our sponsors here who has made this league possible, Kono. If you're looking to take your game to the next level, it all starts with your peripherals. Don't you agree, Mikey? Oh, absolutely. Everything that you do on your keyboard and on right. everything, I mean, literally, the game plays on your keyboard. So if you don't have a nice keyboard, what are you doing? Yeah, Fix and what are you doing sitting here, not checking out Kono right now? Kono.store, they have the best designers, inventors, and makers looking to bring to you some of the best gaming peripherals in their round. Kono have been huge supporters of us here at Upstitch and have made generous contributions to our prize pools, such as giving us five keepers to give away here over at the UPL that's going on in our main channel right now. However, if you're interested in picking us under products, you can go ahead and use the discount code UPSURGEGG for 7% off your first order. For more information, go ahead and check out Kono.store to check out all they have their offer. That's K-O-N-O.store. Kono, discover amazing products. That being said, Mikey, we're going to go ahead and take a straight, uh, quick break. But when we come back, game number two, between CYK and Team World Class Orange, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. At the Upstairs Junior League, my name is XT. I'm joined here with Mikey, and we start things off with a pause. Okay, all right, not what we were expecting, but uh, something to highlight, Mikey. It looks like this time I don't think Team World Class Orange are going to be going for an early invade. They kind of learned a lesson. They're starting it off with a five-point defense. 
Yeah, it's a little better for them, I think. Yeah. Uh, not immediately burning three flashes, so it should be good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the chat is pretty entertaining, by the way. I don't know oh, if that's yeah, on stream true. or not, but <laughs> it's so <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> so we got a pause going on right now. Um, we don't know why it's paused. I don't see it in chat either, so I have no idea. Uh, uh, it's probably safe to assume maybe internet issues. I don't know. Yeah. But hey, but something to note. Mm -hmm. Triple T P. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I think it's a lot. It's very usual on um, Ezreal since he does want to like back and teleport in with early tier or whatnot. But I'm more interested in seeing it on Dakarma. I don't think it's uh, that common on Dakarma. No, TP. Oh, yeah, I think uh, it was depends on the matchup. I mean, yeah. with with something like Syndra, you're not really like unsafe. That's fair. Uh, whereas you're when you're playing in a like something like an assassin, you're gonna want to mm -hmm. take barrier. Mm -hmm. Um, so you should be fine with it. So, yeah. But talking about the bot lane, dude, look at this from Jeeves a sniper. They don't want to relive what happened first game. You got barrier, heal, and exhaust. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A, a little little defensive down there. You yeah. don't want to die. Work. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> it's a lot of sustain happening in the bot lane right now. Yeah. Um, but, you know, on the flip side, you have no ignite. So mm -hmm. I, I found that to be pretty intriguing. Yeah. Uh, pretty much every time that, I mean, I'm a support main, uh, unashamed. Uh, every time that I play into something like Yumi, I take ignite uh, right. almost 100% of the time. Mm -hmm. uh because when you're in a skirmish with those you know heals all coming out and shields and everything right. else you want to take down that healing as much as you can but we'll see if death holy elects to go for something like an early executioners after tier um or if they're just gonna say you know screw it we'll just rely on the flat damage alone yeah definitely i could see someone like chris meister also opting in to get it like umbrellas early uh we will have to see uh, as I'd imagine he's not really going to be using or getting a, you're using too much of his gold to be the primary carry. He's probably going to go for more supportive style and his karma yeah. as we're looking at, you know, trick and definitely to really carry this one. But what I'm more interested in is just still, you know, there's not really any tanks on either team. It's going to be a bloodbath again, Mikey, and we are yeah. in for a fun, fun cast. And it's your turn this time. To, oh yeah, to do the play-by-play. -play, so I don't know if anyone noticed, but we did switch. We, we, we realized we, that <laughs> we hit you with the old switcheroo chat. Yeah, so, you know. we got to spice things up every once in a while, you know. <laughs> Unpause going to be coming through. I don't expect anything to happen in this early game. I think we're just still chilling. We're just hanging out, you know. Yeah, I got my dog at my feet. Oh, I got a nice blanket on. What kind of dog do you have? I have a beagle. He's a, he's a good, he's the goodest boy around. He's a trained emotional support animal. Also looking to mid lane, I don't know if they, they were talking about early into all chat, but Jarvan and Kindred want to hold hands. It's on the mini map, they got a little bit close, but I would love to hold hands. Do you want to hold hands, XT, here in the caster? Room? I don't know, man. I got a social distance, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're still in lockdown, but uh, no love here. So Yumi right now just throwing out the queue, doesn't know if um, Team World Class Orange got the invade or not. But Team World Class Orange did get the five point defense, so there wasn't really anything to worry about. Yeah, the <laughs> early game is going to be pretty much just nothing happening for the most part. Yeah. So, and we're seeing the junglers start on opposite sides. Will we see a Jarvan level two cheese? Probably not. I wish. Oh wait wait wait. Okay, we're not. All right, we're not. I was thinking Jarvan may just beeline. Uh, towards the bot lane for a level two, if you saw earlier. Uh, and if you went to Tribush, he could have gotten jumped by uh, definitely an FS. But that is not the case here. So I'm going to be coming out, and Jarvin's on his way. Jarvin uh, is going to get spotted to out. to go for something early here. He's spotted out, so they know he's on bot side. So yeah. Freshburger can elect to go for a trade up here in top lane. Uh, yeah. But Gak is just throwing cues down relentlessly he's like you're not trading with me today mm -hmm. no thank you sir you can keep that pistol all to yourself and jarvin's already gotten spotted out here uh he might look for something mid but i don't think chris meister is gonna do anything he flashes away from the uh flag here uh so really good on kalo getting that early flash here from the uh, mid laner but this allows kindred to go for a little bit of invade now that she knows that 
You know, Jarvan didn't really get any caps to start things off. And that's a huge summoner spell burn for them, by the way. Yep. Uh, knowing that Chris Meister has no flash meaning means that they can go for a flag and drag into a Syndra E and pretty much ensure that they get a kill yeah. um, as as Syndra gets stronger and stronger. So, now, something... um, mm -hmm. yeah, five minutes down. It's a long time. Uh, the cat is trolling. Oh, That's you. Yumi? Yumi, pretty interesting. But look at the mid lane. Jarvis already positioning himself for a repeat gank, but is still only level two. Just got level three. Not because he got the cap, but because he got the minion there. That's going to be an early, I think that's a mark here for the Kindred. Oh, the stun. That is a country, uh, that's a mark, but in the bot side, stun going to get uh, thrown it here. By FS, no follow-up. Really interesting early game. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a flash stun. Lightly. He's got a flash stun, isn't he? Oh, here comes AM Trick. That's flash away from me. The oh, what oh! a stun! That's going to be oh first blood going over to Trick. And what? really well done by FS. Getting that flash E on to Caitlyn. Gee, this is down for the count again. We're seeing Deja Vu here, Mikey. Oh, man. I'm having I'm having wartime flashbacks right now. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you got to admit, though, what an early game, though, for this Kinship. But look now in the top side. Caitlyn going to be going for a gank. Freshburger does have flash. Oh, no, not. There it goes. Yep. Gun on Caitlyn for a the A good flash oh, preemptively. Yep. I must say. But I kind of want to allude back to the Kindred here, Mikey. She got the mark onto the Scuttle. And also, Super I believe... Super spawn, by the way. Yeah. Super really good spawn. spawn. That's a 50, I don't think she got roll. a bot from the bot side. Yeah. But as she's able to get an assist, she gets the challenge... Or the first blood, sorry. She gets the challenging spy in. And Trick, right now, this Kindred, off to a great start. Yeah, and Trick, once again, showing up big time on a carry jungler. Uh, where on the flip side you have something more utility. So we'll see as this game progresses how that pick is going to play out. But yeah. as of right now, that Kindred pick is looking great. Oh, Mikey, look at the top side right now. Sinjur right now is trying to see if she can get anything done. This is a big no way for flash. Yak. Yeah, Freshbreaker maybe in a little bit of trouble. He's going to be running the other oh. way. Didn't Oh, didn't proc the tower. But wow, look at this. Here comes Am Trick. Going to be coming the over, flash. but that's going to be a flash over the wall. Living along gets that kill for himself. And Gak gets a little bit of EXP under the tower. Oh, man. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> but I think, the, I think the big thing is, is that Gap did just lose, I think, like two waves under that tower. Let me go in a little trouble. But isn't going to be in any other danger. Yeah, that's going to be Dragon Starter. That's the crazy thing. You have, you have no flash in the top lane, and you're pushed up. You have no, like... You don't really... Uh, I don't know. There was no, yeah. like, vision prio for him to be pushed up that far. Yeah. And now look at this. Over in the bot lane. They want to take this fight. Teleport is going to be coming down from the Syndra. No flash, though. But now look at this. Jeep's going to be in a lot of trouble. Here comes the trick. He's going to be like... Run. D sniper. Let's see if he can get away here. Gak has joined the fight. He is level 6. Oh. Good. Coming up for living long. Flash, though, away from the karma. And Gak isn't able to find a flank. That is a one for nothing here. Team World Class Orange, they lose to Dragon, but they walk away getting another kill into Jeebus. Oh, boy. That's what Jeebus, is Mikey. going on in this game right now? The, everything is going right for World Class right now. Yeah. Literally everything you could have asked for in this <laughs> early game for Kindred is going Kindred's way. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's literally no better early game for this Kindred. No better scenario for this kinder to be set up for success. Mm -hmm. And Jeevis, oh Jeevis, Mikey, this is gonna be the second game in a row where he's gonna be playing for... You know, Jeev we hate to Jeevis see it. is doing his best. Yeah, yeah, he is. He is doing his best. Doing his damnness, but... I, I, I wanna know, my question is, mm -hmm. um, when you're locking in, oh, here's another pause, mid DC. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, here's another pause. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's my question. When you're locking in bot lanes, right? A mm -hmm. has and you're locking in junglers to go with bot lane, right? Mm -hmm. Why would you set up a bot lane that has absolutely no setup for a J4 gig? Yeah, it's really interesting to see that 
Kalo, he, yeah, okay, he was able to get flashes both in mid top, right? But he's constantly trying to go for plays bot side. That's really odd to see. Maybe there's, he's trying to like. absolutely no setup for him in that yeah. lane. Maybe he was trying I mean, to alleviate some of the pressure from Jeebus, but I'm not sure. Yeah. There's just nothing that he can do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have, you have Yumi and Caitlyn, right? Yumi yep. can slow somebody, and Kate could maybe get a trap to mm -hmm. set up an EQ. Yeah. But unless that J4 has flash, there's no setup for that J4 to gank. Right. So if and J4 is playing the bot side, and you're against something like, like Tarek and Ezreal, mm -hmm. there's no way you can gank that lane effectively. Yeah. And something to also note, that bot lane play cost Living Long and Gak both their teleports. And Gak didn't even get to do anything in that fight. He had to flash away from Akara. So that's going to mean, maybe I'm predicting on spawn for Rift Herald, you know, you send a Gangplank bot, you send it as real top, and then you play towards the top side, and you also have a global from the Gangplank, you know? Team World Class Orange, this is... They have so many opportunities and so many, like, things, tools to work with to get another victory win. I mean, it's just... It's, it's not only Draft Kingdom. Yeah. You know? But it, it's it's... It's a matter of just like thinking about when you lock in something like J4 first pick, mm -hmm. picking lanes that give that J4 an opportunity to snowball. Mm -hmm. Because J4 as a champion is like, okay, I'm going to snowball either your lead or my lead. Mm -hmm. And that is my whole design. <laughs> right? So yeah. what this J4 now has to do, because he doesn't have that, is more than likely build Cinder Hulk, go full tank, and look to try and just AFK engage fights with uh, Cataclysm mm -hmm. and hope to God that his team does enough damage before he dies. Yeah, definitely. But enough to Jarvin. Let's talk about Living Long, though, because I think he's the little bit of a shiny beacon of hope here for CYK. He's been playing actually pretty well with the Sintra so far, has been getting a lot of spot on stuns. Uh, putting out a lot of damage. I think, once again, this is probably going to be a game where Sindra has to do her best to, you know, get CYK out of this slump. Yep. And and I think Living Long, you know, we both know it. I think everybody in chat knows that Living Long is their strongest player. Mm -hmm. And for them to win this game, they're going to have to play through Living Long. Right. And Living Long is going to have to play through the top side. Because there's yep. nothing happening bot. If they go bot lane as a team right now, mm -hmm. they get wiped. Mm -hmm. They have to play through topside, which means they have to play through Gak and Living Long. Mm -hmm. Now, Gak is not in a great spot right now. No. Gak is getting shoved in. Gak is getting out-traded. Gak is a level up, but down in CS. Mm-hmm doesn't really have prio in the lane at all. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be, like, really difficult for them to get back into this. Absolutely. I, I, know, I know it's only a 1.3k deficit, but it feels like so much more. Yeah, because we know, potentially, there are two plays that, you know, Team World Class Orange can do, right? Rift Herald's about to sound, they have double teleport up, they send gameplay to the bot side, and then they get control of the Rift Herald, or they could just keep playing the game as it is, as nothing isn't going terribly too wrong, or too wrong for them right now and trick is you know gonna be a threat he's basically out of this early game slump and uh you know they have a lot of fun tools to really work with it's really up to team world class orange to see how they get or play around uh this advantage is you know they do have an odd um they have an odd composition right it's not it's not what we are used to seeing in season 10 so far but they are in a position right now where this comp is going to be able to work out because, like you said, this Kindred's early game, you know, is probably one of the best starts so far. Yeah. And this is like, again, it's ideal circumstances for a trick. Yeah. Um, able to get a kill, got the mark from the kill. Able to get two marks from Scuttles. So he's sitting at probably, I think, three marks. I can't, I don't know if I can click on... I can. Two, two marks, marks, I think. Two yeah. marks. So... Never got the mark from the kill. But either way, got two marks from Scuttle. Has mm. two marks here at seven minutes. Has the J4 marked right now. 
They have solid vision on the top side of the map, which mm-hmm. is where Trick is hovering right now. No vision of anything on the on the opposite side. CYK has nothing to look for them top. It looks like they're ready. So here we go. No. Starting back up. Oh, man. Unfortunate pause, but we are back here, folks. Sorry for the delay, but me and Mikey are back to give you guys some coverage here. CYK Purple taking on Team World Class Orange. It's the battle of the colors, actually, Mikey. I didn't really notice that earlier. Yep, purple versus orange. Who is the more superior? Uh, my oh. money's on orange. No bias my, here. My but. personal <laughs> preference, as far as colors outside of these teams, is purple. Uh huh. Just FYI. Oh boy, that's what I like to see. But over to bot side, you know, Kayla once again tried to see if he could do anything in the bot side, but is gonna get spotted by a control ward and. You know, that's a little bit of a head scratcher, Mike. We've already been talking about it during the pause, but you see, you know, Jarvan continuously trying to see if he can do anything but. And uh, Jeebus and Sniper are actually shoving in Death Holy and FS right now. Mm -hmm. Kalo getting caught Um, out by Chris. Oh, he's going to EQ out. So there he goes. Bye-bye. Not Rise, but still an EQ coming out from Jarvan. EQ. EQ. (laughs) I remember that one view on uh, on the subreddit where it was just I think it was oh some dude from goodness. Riders. Oh, look at this trade up top though. Gak right now in a lot of tr- or try to see if he can get a kill for himself. Freshburger just gonna back away slowly. Oh, one more Q to state dominance, but trick now in the bot side. Yeah, it's gonna get spotted out by Ward, but I don't think anything's gonna come from it. I think that's more of a prank. I like to call it just a pressure game. Just a prank, bro. A pressure oh, game. I see a the prank. camera. I know it's prank. No, that's at Ward. Woo! But now in the mid, Trick was looking to see if he could punish Syndra, but Syndra backs away towards the top side, and that's Rift Herald actually now gonna be going over uh, to CYK as Freshburger right now. Yeah, really low. Lord. Oh yeah. Oh, look at the bot side though. Oh, that's a heal barrier <laughs> from Jeebus and Sniper. Oh boy. That's a lot. Didn't, didn't really have the uh, summoner spell synergy there. They kind of just... Yeah. Busted them both out while Israel missed his ulti. <laughs> Panic summer. But a positive for CYK, though. They do get the Rift Herald um, for Kalo there. And that was really great because, you know, Gak was getting pressure up topside and nothing Freshburger could do to really get any of the priority lane, ba- or lane back. He has to teleport back in with the Ninja Tabbies down. Though. But he Tabby does have low Sheen. Not bad for him right now. There's the true damage. Woo! One trade. Yeah. And in the mid lane, we see Kalo once again trying to see if he can get a mid gank going, but Chris Meister will sniff that out and we'll back off. Trick now in the bot side, taking to Krugs. What a beast, dude. Trick is playing with no fear. And Kalo is just once again trying to see if he can get anything. They're looking for the dive. Yeah, dive gonna be coming out from the bot side. Jeep's gonna be in a lot of trouble. He's gonna be able to flash away, but he's gonna get exhausted. And now, who does, who gets, lives and dies? It's gonna be the rest of. Team World Class Orange. I think Sniper lives here, but won't be for long, Mikey. We're going to be seeing a dead cat quite soon. If Is I book this cat. cat going to drop? Ah, uh, probably Will not. I kill the cat. Oh, oh yeah, another flash. Yep, and FS gets that over in the mid lane, though. Failed gank by oh, Halo and Living Long, but now in the top side. Oh, Gak's in trouble. He's going to be going. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, he's going to be down. Really close straight there, but Freshburger inches that away with a sliver of his life there. And once again, cross board, Mikey. Great plays from Team World Class Orange. What is happening? How did Gak go from winning that hard to losing that hard? Hey, Ninja Tabbies, bro. Can't, you gotta respect the Broken Ninja item. <laughs> Broken <laughs> item. But I want to talk more on this bot lane play here, Mikey, as once again, we see Trick going for another visit. They know the barrier mistake was ultimately punished and Jeebus the sniper once again guard down for the count yeah it's <laughs> that there's really no counterplay to what just happened to Jeebus and sniper yeah I mean you got Tarek ult dove and into a kindred ulti I mean what can you do about that yeah just cry you, I mean, uh, your what, <laughs> if you had summoners maybe you survive uh-huh. for a little longer but I mean, the Tarek able to flash on him with the E. Mm-hmm. I mean, what are you gonna do? Shatter is just OP. It's OP. Yeah. OP ability. Definitely. And FS so far has been phenomenal in this Tarek. Last game we saw him on the Nautilus, 
starting things up and setting thing a lot of things up for definitely and now again on this target exact thing and so many threats on team world class orange but you don't got the time to see if they're able Here comes to Halo. do anything about it fs gotta be off but here's the cataclysm Whoa. definitely no gotta flat. be able to RK shift the way in Kalo gonna oh be going down. God. Wait a minute. This is looking bad. Shadow not gonna be able to connect, but it's only gonna go onto the bucket. So yeah, well, he's gonna be looking to see if he can do anything about this two v one. But I don't think he's gonna get greedy. He does have the monomy. Oh, oh, he gets the Q, and he's gonna be able to get the bucket. Now Jim is gonna be in a little bit of trouble. That's gonna be all attack. He does proc the lethal temple, but. He's more than happy to get you off of that. Devilly, what a monster. This balling is insane for Team Warfighter. What Fizer an Orange. absolute animal. Oh, He's Fresh off. Burger? And a 2v1. Setting things up for Trick, maybe, but now Fresh Burger, uh, he hasn't really done anything. He's, he's got X. He just walked around in a circle, called it a day. Oh, Whoa. stun misses. How did that he miss? Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, I think that was a, I think that's a bug. That was a glitch. Yep, glitch. Okay, anyways, that bot lane. We saw it again. Kalo tried to get something got, uh, started at the bot side, Mikey, and look at what happened. What do you do? You know? I mean, it's just, it's god tier support work that's yeah. happening in the bot lane right now. Yeah. Like, we're and... giving a lot of credit to Death Holy, but yeah. I'm going to give him a shout out to FS right now. Yeah. Dude, because during that whole exchange, FS was sitting just sitting on the Caitlyn, tanking the damage, right. and just using those empowered auto attacks to keep resetting the heal on the Q. Ooh, so the J4 man. lane, I mean... Kalo gonna be able to go so in, long. but that's gonna be a lot of trouble for him. Doesn't have flash to get out. Definitely oh. gonna be able to teleport in, but Chris Meister gets killed. Dive might be coming on, though. Living long is under tower. There is ultimate for FS, but no minions. They're just gonna back off. Play after play after play, Mikey, but... Team World Class Orange aren't letting anyone breathe here from SCYK, and... <sighs> this has to suck at you right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're just... You're set up to lose. Mm -hmm. Based on how you draft it. Mm -hmm. I mean, like it's like I said before, Draft Kingdom, right? Yeah. I mean... It is what it is, I guess, but... Yeah, I, like, does Yumi... I, I, I can't really wrap around why they try to get... Uh, this is Deja Vu. Kalo's backing out! He doesn't want to do anything with him with the ultimate. It's like, nah. <laughs> I, I saw this before. This Tark smoked me once. I don't want him to smoke me again. <laughs> oh, over the top side, though. Gak in trouble is slowed by the E. Triple hit coming out for Trick. And Gak has to run away. Woo! Welcome to the never-ending action. That is UJL. Yep. CYK right now are still pulling out all the guns to see if they can stop Team World Class under steps. But once again, there's a team on the horizon. There's a reason why these guys are 16 and 1. I believe. You know, one technically, but now look at this. Bot lane play. He's got to be in trouble. Does have the ultimate. It's oh, going to get the oh, ultimate on time. Double with Shatter! No! And FS sets it up for a C mini play! No! No! He's gonna be gone once again, no! and now Jeebus is gonna be in a lot of trouble! It's gonna be flanked by the Gangplank, and now Jeebus is gonna be gone! Flash forward by the Gangplank, he's gonna get taken out! Sniper is gonna be the next one! That's four kills in the bot lane, Mikey! Wow! Team World Class Orange, they do it again! FS is a monster! I have no idea how FS survived that exchange, uh, but trick? FS lives to fight uh, another trick? day. Trick is just, you know, he's just attacking Playing somebody. Yeah. But, oh my god. That was I, insane. I think that blast cone may have been a little bit troll there. I don't know who popped it. I yeah, really I, hope it was FS, but... I, I don't know if it was FS or Death Holy. I know one of them did it, though. Yeah. But whoever popped that blast cone, if it was someone from CRK, they're trolling. But if it was actually, like, definitely setting it up for FS, good lord. I gotta, like, view that play one more time. But, oh my gosh, dude. That, that just all worked out for FS. You get the double shatter, you got the ultimate off, and you flash away, and you set up a four-man wipe for your team. Like, absolutely bananas. Oh my gosh. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs>
But now look at this. FS once again going to be playing up front. This bot lane is going to continue pushing. Ocean Drake is going to be up for Team Class Orange to take. CYK trying to rotate to the bot side, but they aren't really going to find anything here. Ooh, the triple barrel. Style on him. He also has the execution of Scalling, too, along with the Trinity Force. Man, everyone for CYK. Oh, he is... got it! Wow! Oh, but at what cost? Oh. Has to hold. It's going to queue over. He's out! He's out! He's out. What? He's in a <laughs> No, no, nothing's working. Nothing's working for CYK. He has no smite. He has no smite. They got uh, it anyway. It was gonna be able to go in. Let's see if we can get anyone. Shatter gonna be able to stun the driver, but not for long. Kayla has to flash healing. out. Look at all that dash too coming out from Definitely. Wow. Team One Class Orange. Out and Kayla once again loses flash. Every single solitary. For, uh, for FS right now. But as a team, like, this is the most one, like, this is so one-sided, this game. There's a reason why. You know, these guys are touted to be the best team in UGL right now. And, you know, they're looking to get into quarterfinals with this performance. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't drop a game this one-sided playoff season. And you know what the best part? They're not even playing with their full roster right now. They actually have to sub out the top laner. Poor Royal Moon, man. But, man, he must be happy to see his team doing so well right now. I mean, Freshburger's doing his thing up there. Yeah, definitely. Freshburger is insane. Everyone's insane. Freshburger Chris is Meister. doing his thing. Yeah, Chris Meister, too. He, he may have not been shining as much as he was last game. But still, Honest Karma has been playing this lane really, really well. Has gotten the CS lead. Has been able to keep living long under, you know, under wraps. Has been able to put him in check. Like, wow, you know? Yeah, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah, definitely, and nine stacks on this Kindred right now. Three Ooh. levels up against the enemy jungler. Trick on this Kindred is proving to us why he wanted to pick this champion, dude. We should have never doubted him. Absolutely insane. <laughs> but imagine if it was Tark mid, and it was a funnel. Would it be worse, or would it be better? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But maybe it would have been scarier. That's true. It definitely <laughs> would have been memeier. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But right now, you saw the damage earlier really, that just came out from Death Foley. He has a Trinity Force and Mount Immune. Like, this game, this team right now from De uh, Team World Class Orange, they're at the power spike. And COBK, they need a miracle if they want to try to fight against them at all. And they don't really have any damage to take out anyone right now. Especially Jeebus, who's so behind two levels down. Only has a Storm Racer. This is... All right, definitely was that ult. Try his best, it's but... It's the zoning ulti. <laughs> the warning shot, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't come here. We know you're there, but just don't come here. <sighs> All right, last side. Right now, we see a pretty classic split push coming on from Freshburger's teleport. is going to be up soon. Baron is going to be up. It's marked. You know they're going to try to go for it. They want it. I've been spending oh. the last probably... Oh, uh, FS gonna be caught out once again. Does have ultimate to save him? He's gonna get Ooh. taken down, and FS really interesting position. He was going for the flake, but isn't gonna be able to get anyone now. Yeah, oh, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Doesn't have his E up yet. Is gonna have it now. They hit the and, Baron oh, though. Wow. See what can get the pick. Rift Herald spawned a bot lane, and that's fair. But you know, that's a really good play, or really good pick here for CYK. You know, F is a little bit greedy with his positioning, and they get the bot laner, and that's a lot of shutdown go. But now, look, Whoa! look at the damage for the Karma. Teleport got him coming in from the gameplay. Okay, look at him, a little bit of trouble. Flash forward by Chris Meister. Trip! Trip. Gonna see if he can finally get that oh, damn mark. One more auto, no, the heal coming out. But Jeebus is gonna be, no, he's gonna get saved oh, by the goodness. bell. Team World Class Orange can't get anything back, but they're looking for the turret. Gak tries to defend it, but be able to get anything right now. That's going to be the book cat on to Gak. Teleport going to be coming in from the Karma. Ooh. They really want this turret, Mikey. They're going to be able to get it. Oh, two oh, minutes, three minutes. Stop running away from Living Log. But no one goes down. Fresh Worker has to back out. Now everyone else trying to see if they can follow up onto this. Yumi Slow not going to be able to mark anyone. Trick going to be back. Going to back out. Definitely ease forward. Doesn't have Flash, but no one wants to go on him just yet. Woo! I see okay. They may be behind, but they're definitely not out. 
Lord have mercy. This game just got interesting. There is a 10k gold lead, and you have CYK trying to fight them. And winning! Yeah. The All dragon right. is going to be up in about 20 seconds here. It's going to be the ocean dragon once again. Stun? It's a blind oh. stun, but it won't be able to connect. Let me gets out. That would have been insane. Yeah. I would have just stun back that forward if he hit that stun. It's interesting that Living Along is going to back here. He does have to teleport, but Dragon is going to be able to spawn here. And let's see what CYK can do to potentially fight against this Dragon. Everyone from Team World Class currently in position. A lot of damage being brought onto the Caitlyn. Caitlyn's out of the picture. That's going to be the Dragon. Jack Stolen by Elo. But, oh, he fails to flash it now. That's a two for nothing. Jack, though, able to get Death Holy on the backside. Trick. And Trick going to be able to flash forward. Living along, down for the count. Double kill for the Trick. And it all in all, I believe it's just going to be a one for three, actually. Baron is up, but I don't think uh, Team One Class go for it. Ten marks. What a monster. Ten marks mm -hmm. at 23 minutes yeah they may have lost definitely but they're all positioned towards baron right now they don't need him they could just start it up no nope, they're just going for this nope they're starting there it up goes. yeah no one from um see okay are in position right now they are running to it as fast as they can living long not spawned yet it is a 4v4 it looks like they're gonna be able to get to Baron right at the halfway mark, but Kayla already stole the dragon. Let's see if we can steal it one more time. Baron's getting really, really low. Fight maybe starting off. That's gonna be no Baron going over to the gate click, but now look at his Tarik ultimate gonna be able to oh. talk to the whole team and the rest of CYK have to run away. Gak gonna oh be down. God. Kayla has to run. That's gonna be flash for FF. Exhausted. Lilon goes for the stun. But nothing and a Baron going over to team world class. But Cat. Gonna be able to get out of there, but now that's a five man or four man strong push. FS had to back off from that fight. And Team World Class are gonna be looking to get this turret. I don't even have time to analyze anything anymore. Yeah, it's just I action. I think I do now. I think I do now. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> I don't even know what just happened, to be honest with you. Uh -huh. um, but to, to, to try and break it down, um, we. We obviously have seen Gak with shines and flashes of I'm a brilliant top laner. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you know, trying to show that he is. So he's looking for these big high fee plays. The problem is nobody on his team apart from maybe Living Long is actually, yeah, Living Long is right there with him, is, is even in the game currently. Um, Kalo is so far out right now, actually. Uh, Kalo is over 4k out of this game, I should say. And four levels. Um, Jeez. actually, actually, Gak, in comparison to Freshburger, who has the most gold in the game currently, uh, is 5k down. No, 4k. 4k down. Yeah. 4.3k. So, yeah. I mean, you have giant, giant gold leads. I mean, this is this is a 14k deficit right now. There's only really one word to describe this whole entire Team World Class Orange squad, and that's dominant. All these guys, you know, even if, even if you're Chris Meister or you're FS right now, they've all played the role perfectly. Karma was able to keep Living Long in check, and definitely along with FS were able to smash his bot lane. Freshburger too! Most go to on this game plank, you know? Able to make sure Gak doesn't have too much of a pop-up moment. Like, literally everyone's playing so well, not to mention Trick, who has just been controlling this game on Kindred, dictating a lot of the plays. Like, now has a completed IE, by the way, as well as that Black That's Weaver. brave. Oh, Kalo trying to go Ooh. in, but Cat does have to ult. They root up too, but oh, oh no! Okay. Freshburger gonna get poked out. Take it down. Really there good pick goes. from CRK. But the poor the guy. Yeah. That's CC chain. Oh, great oh, stun coming fight. out from Living Log, and they're still trying to find ways back in. Team World Class, though, they're looking for the mid inhibitor as FS is trying to run away for Kale. Kale does no damage. 
No, Mid is in hip, though. Game. Gonna go down to AM Trick. And even though they lose two, they still gain a lot. Is Trick gonna look for this? I don't think so. It's a 3v4, though. 3v5. Teamwork class is probably gonna be looking for the Ocean Drake. And thankfully, Kalo getting that Steely Ocean Soul just yet. Not quite. Mm -hmm. But. I mean, that that's super good for Living Long. I mean, Living Long is certainly in this game right now. Living Long, in fact, is the only alive person on that entire team right now. Yeah. Uh, Living, Living Long has a gold lead against Living Long's counterpart, Grizz. Mm -hmm. Is the only member of the team that's even within 3K mm -hmm. of their uh, counterpart. Unfortunately, you know, it's kind of a 1v9 scenario, I guess, because... It doesn't matter if just Karma's ahead or not. Just Karma's just he has she has the art sensor. She's just playing support, you know. Yeah, Harry's already so ahead. They get to drag. Cruise Meister's playing well. Yeah. Two oh nine. I mean that's yeah. that's a really good scoreline. Yeah. I mean it, it's crazy how like I've I don't think I've ever seen and I I don't know if you if you can vouch for this but I don't think I have ever seen a platinum or a gold platinum team this well-rounded in my whole entire casting career yeah definitely and you know i have a little bit of history being able to see jeff Oli and am trick these two guys have always been one of the best you know gold plat players uh in basically amateur and bro moon one of the top shot colors not even being needed on the team for this team did still go on fresh burger still stomping my first time seeing chris my he's doing his role well and fs just completely shocking everyone of his place on Tarek, dude. Like, this team's ready to dominate, and, you know, as the game continues, they are 40k up. Fresh Burger, setting it up for ga- uh, for, uh, Oh tricking. my goodness gracious. Yeah, all that damage. On to care. Great to see it. Although stun, get a miss here. Kalo, see if you can get a two-man knockup, and it's only up to the Kate. Karma, not the main carry. Kaya and Trick still untouched, doing a lot of damage. Kalo has to flash out. Look at that snipe oh! from Fully, able to get that kill for himself. Living Long gets oh, crit on. And now look at this, the rest of Team World Class Orange looking to make a statement here on the base here for CYK. Three inhibitors down. No outer turrets touched. Take it down at all. Team World Class Orange, 2-0 CYK and move on to the quarterfinals here for the UJL. Wow, what a series by World Class Orange. I mean, all around an absolute dominant performance. Um, I look forward to seeing this team as this playoffs go on, but I mean, that was very, very decisive. And if that's telling on how they're going to play throughout these playoffs, these teams better watch out. Yeah, and I believe that puts their win loss record now i think they were came into the series i believe 14 and 1 and now they're no 16 and 1 they won to last week and now they're 18 and 1 like these guys are looking untouchable you know uh but we will have to see if anyone else out there in the ugl are able to touch them but honestly phenomenal game here from team world class orange and two more class they have a ugl team on lock what a great game. What a great game. Nuts. But before we move on to closing the stream out, you know, I'm sure you are excited to talk about it, Mikey, but MVPs, who do you got? Oh, man. That's that's tough. Mm -hmm. um, if, if I were to give out an MVP, are, based, are, we, are we doing game to game or are we doing a whole series? Whole series, whole series. <sighs> uh, man. If I'm giving my MVP for the whole series, that's really hard. I'm gonna go with Death Holy. Hmm. Either either Death Holy or FS. One of those bot landers is the MVP of mine. Ah, you gotta choose one. Uh What's FS was the MVP walking? decisively of game two, in my opinion. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna go with FS. FS is the MVP. Alright. FS, one, two, nine. Getting the MVP for Mikey, and I will have to agree. I think FS played pretty phenomenally both games. You know, you got to remember game one, he was able to set up that bot lane for success on that Nautilus, gets that early 2v2 victory, and definitely was able to follow up. A great support, though. 
can only has to have you know a great ADC by their side too. Definitely a phenomenal series by him playing that misfortune game one very very well. Game two, FS was able to help him pop off, but FS honestly has been able to get all the plays of the bot lane going. Was able to give you know uh, team more class is a, a start to uh, both their games and a, a area for them to work with here and. Aim Trick also gets my honorable mention because, oh my god, dude, this guy just stomped. Uh, was it the right place at the right time on both the Olaf and the Kindred? And honestly, the whole entire team cla- team of Team World Class played on point, but when you have a bunch of superstars playing well, you can only give it a one, and FS gets my vote. FS, MVP, a unanimous <laughs> decision by both of us casters, You're XT and Mikey, who, um, by the way, were not in the talent tab. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll, uh, get, we'll be there one day. No problem, <laughs> no much. problem. You guys don't need yeah. my Twitter. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but either way, um, a lot of exciting stuff here in the Upsurge uh, Junior League. As you know, we still have a lot of games going on here at Upsurge today. I believe on the Upsurge main channel, it's 100 Thieves taken on Orgless. That is very exciting so far. But that being said. It is time for us to sign off. Mikey, any last words before I take it away? No, man. Uh, it's been a pleasure to cast with you. It's been a pleasure mm-hmm. to hang out with y'all in Twitch chat. Um, and uh, I hope to see y'all again uh, next time I cast. Yeah, definitely. So over at the UGL, I know today's game was a stomp, but the UGL playoff story continues next week at 8 p.m. EST. Be sure to tune in for that. This broadcast would not have been possible without the supporting staff here at the Upsurge Leagues. Venny Love, our producer here today, was able to make the stream possible. And Mikey, my co-caster, we were able to switch things out a little bit to make sure we both didn't <laughs> die. Uh, uh, Shout-outs to all the organizers and administrations for making this uh, tournament possible. Thank you all for everyone who's watching and all the players for playing this phenomenal best-of-three series. Folks, we're going to be signing off here in the UGL, but be sure to tune in on the UPL right now on Upsurge Esports, Twitch.tv channel, as we are about to break 200 viewers on that stream, and it is Team Oracle is taking on 100 Thieves next. Always a fun, ton of fun to watch, but finally, as your caster here today, your play-by-play XT, and also your caller, Mikey, thank you all so much for watching. We're going to be handing off for the tonight, and be sure Stay safe in these tough times and be sure to enjoy all the action coming your way in Upsurge Junior League. Thanks for watching, folks, and have a good night.